On the day that we honor those who have served this country in times of peace and war, we turn our focus to a generation that's about to be lost. Most World War II veterans are now in their 80s and their 90s, and they're dying at a rate of over 1,200 a day. But there is a Herculean effort by an organization known as Honor Flight DFW to get those who've never seen the World War II memorial in person to Washington before it's too late. I think Redden Day is uh, important. I've never seen so many thank you. Appreciate it. At 90, retired Lieutenant Colonel Kenneth Brower's hands aren't nearly as steady as they once were when he was a young airman. The eyes today, not nearly as sharp, but I can tell you firsthand, his memory of World War II is crystal clear. As Kenneth tells me, it was the 8th of July, 1944, a month after the D-Day invasion. Then First Lieutenant Brower was flying with his crew in their B-26 bomber over France. At 2.50 in the morning, between Abbeville and Amens, the enemy found them. We had, uh, I'd say, 100 holes in the airplane. The Marauder was crippled, but the news was worse for at least one of the crew. The one that really got hurt was our engineer. He got a piece of black, went up through him, clear out. He died, in other words. Seconds later came the command from the captain. After the, he told us bail out, I opened the bomb bay door. <laughs> We had flames clear up to the cockpit. Naturally, I closed the door real quick, went out through the nose wheel. And while I was in the air coming down, I saw the plane blow up. It's here on this French hillside where Kenneth Brower landed all alone. And down the street in this farmhouse is where a French family hid Brower until France was liberated nearly two months later. Fast forward 66 years, the retired lieutenant colonel who lives in Fort Worth still treasures the Purple Hearts he earned and the Air Force Commendation Medal he received, but admits that before his time is up, he would like to see the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. Excited to see it? Tell me about your emotions. Here we are four days away from Looking forward to it. Been looking forward for two years. <laughs> two years because that's how long the waiting list is for Honor Flight DFW a nonprofit dedicated to taking aging veterans to Washington, D.C., all expenses paid, to see the World War II Memorial for their first and likely last time. Fortunately for Kenneth, his health outlasted the wait. So how many guys have you been able to catch up with this morning? Oh, about six, seven to new. Wow. Kenneth Brower and 40 other North Texas WW2 vets are about to leave on a 48-hour odyssey to Washington, D.C. that will bring many of those brave men to tears. I was able to travel with Honor Flight to document their journey, and I hope you join me for what's going to be inspirational and an emotional tribute, to say the least. That's tonight on CBS 11 News at 10 o'clock. And we've talked about it over mm -hmm. the recent weeks since I did this trip a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it, it's, it's everything you can imagine and more for, for a group of veterans, as I said in the, in the intro, that's about to be lost. Mm -hmm. There'll come a time very shortly when all we'll have is a history book right. instead of someone sitting in front of us. My father-in-law was a Marine in World War II, and he took one of those honor flights, and it meant the world yeah. to him. So I'm, I'm watching these men from your story, and I, I see my father-in-law. Yeah, it, it's very emotional watching yeah. that. I'm looking forward to your, show, your story yeah. at 10. Tonight at 10. All right, yeah. thank you, Dad.